Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're on a nine streak? Yeah, okay. Nine streak. Eden. Let's do this. Double digits. Feeling confident. Two HP, one spirit heart. Ringworm and Explosivo. ZMNA1F3Y. Oh, bad stats. And I'm not just trying to get banned from Nick's chat for saying something that rhymes with bad rats. These are bad stats. Explosivo is really good in the early game, and we, we've had enough runs as Eden where uh, where we've had it fairly early on, or gotten it early on in an item room where we had otherwise pretty terrible stats. Uh, to be able to say that with some relative authority, I think. It's a pretty solid... What? 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 Why didn't I just teleport out of here right off the bat? We could have just gotten whatever items we were going to get. Um, I am going to teleport out of here still, but... Um, if things get real nasty here, I will potentially drop Ringworm. Because we have that opportunity. Um, but I do like the fact that these Ringworm Explosivo shots continue to kind of rattle around after they hit. And it'd be a shame to toss away, you know, a, a semi-fun uh, item here just because it's, it's bugging out a little bit. Cursed Eye, let's be real. Um, I think my tolerance for bad items is higher than most people's. But this is a few too many, like, pretty bad items right off the freaking bat here. Okay, this is hell. Um, luckily, we made it out. And we, we are going to have an Explosivo shot go off. That's going to open up another escape route. If we can do this room with Explosivo, we can really do, you know, any room with Explosivo here. Or, sorry, with, with uh, Ringworm. And that champion's going to be dead. Just got the one left. There we go. He's going to be done. I mean, is, Ringworm's not all bad. It does give you the opportunity to get a little faster shot speed than you would otherwise expect, but is that really worth much at all for us? No, it's not. Um, but if we can roll with it, we're going to choose to roll with it. But we might take Cursed Eye, maybe? I don't know. Probably not, though. I hate the idea of us getting uh, basically nothing on our first floor, but it might be the way she goes here, especially if you get like a range upgrade or something like that. And the key is not worthless. We actually didn't, uh, not only did we not gain anything, we actually lost some stuff in the form of our, uh, spirit heart here, and I really don't want to have to fight those guys again. Oh, and I still got hit! After all that, that incredible dodge there, I got hit by my own freaking Explosivo shot. You know what's great about this, though, is we will be able to for sure get a deal with the devil on this floor if we can find both secret rooms. And we're definitely going to be able to find one secret room, um... Well, hopefully we'll be able to find one secret room with a bomb and one secret room with a teleporter. And then we've got this battery charge that we can use to find the deal with the devil. And if we get HP from this boss, hopefully we'll get early precedent, pick up something, you know, valuable. Look, I'm going to drop Ringworm. It, it can only lead to pain for us in the future. I'm going to drop it for now. We're going to go do every single room. We've already been to our curse room. You know, I think we should actually use a key to go to our shop. And, by the way, in dropping a Ringworm, I actually think it might be a semi-sensible choice to actually take Cursed Eye now. Because of the fact that we can stack up Explosivo shots with a little bit more reliability. Our shots are not going to be as fast, but uh, everything else about them is going to be a lot better. Uh, we could use a bomb to access that chest, but I thought there was a Tinted Rock somewhere. Maybe I'm mistaken about that. No Tinted... Oh, there is a Tinted Rock in there, but I don't think we have the, the power to get it, unfortunately. Which, by which I mean, I don't think our bomb would actually reach it. Uh, now we have two bombs, though. I do think we should use a key for that, and that ended up working out fantastically. We're gonna get the four cents. Five? No, just four. Uh, we also found our secret room. If you'll excuse me, this cat would like to leave the room. Well, don't paw at the door while I'm opening it. It's not gonna work out for you at all. You wanna come in? You're, you're hot, then you're cold. You're yes, then no. You're no, you're in, then you're out. Oh, we totally can use a bomb here. We didn't need to. I didn't notice that fire was there. Uh, we get another golden chest, weirdly enough. Gives us more bombs. I think we should just teleport. Uh, well, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna... It's probably gonna fuck up our boss rush chances. The fact that we're doing so much shit here on this floor. But um, let's do that. Got to 12 cents. Do we have anything in our shop at 15 cents that's worth buying? Honestly, Nun's Habit is really good for us with Golden Teleporter. So, sure, we'll go pick that up. We got a luck upgrade as well, so I feel good about that. Um, I kind of want the extra spirit hearts. So, let's do this. 
I really want the extra spirit art because we're probably going to have a deal with the devil. Then teleport to the second secret room. Second secret room gives us a black heart. Equally good news. Um, grab this battery charge, teleport again, deal with the devil, two more black hearts, and black powder. Okay. Good setup. <laughs> Took a while to get there, and honestly, we didn't really gain much in the attribute department on this floor, but uh, everything else is pretty good here. So I, I think we can be proud of the way that we used uh, Golden Teleporter on this floor, and it, it's given us an early game advantage that I'm not going to say it's going to be impossible for us to fall behind on, but it's a start at least. And, you know, that early precedent is really important, if for no other reason than if we end up fighting Krampus or something like that, we can still have a deal with the devil precedent later. It's not like we'll be sequestered and, you know, potentially shitty deal with the angel items for the rest of the game. Good work. Uh, Book of Secrets. We will be able to uh, get to a boss trap room on this floor, which is nice, I suppose. Uh, I, apart from that, don't really care about Book of Secrets insofar as it, it is as an item. It's nice that it gave us a book, so we've got a library chance in the future, but, you know, even even then, I don't think we're going to use that that often. Um, use a library that often, that is. I love when enemies clump together now. Let's get Explosivo stuck on them. I would like to improve our actual, you know, everything, though. I mean, it's, it's awesome that we have... Uh, well, a couple of things about this are awesome. Explosivo, but... Uh, I love that we got some good utility items on the last floor, but we're still lacking very much in the department of, like, items that are actually uh, improving our base stats, which I think is valuable for us. Now, I don't know if Black Powder is actually going to work for this guy if he gets stuck inside of our Black Powder pentagram, but if he does, we're going to we're gonna find out, because I keep endeavoring to try to create them here. Look, chill out with the explosive balls thing you know I got my own to worry about here I got my own explosive balls Jerry mom's pearls and the guaranteed deal with the devil this time it gave us Krampus I don't want to say a toe to so but I toe to so a fucking a toe to so I there was a I fucking a toe to so is that it anyway lump of coal uh it's it's the better of the options that we had available to us here that's what I'll say about that um having been to the deal with the devil we would like to find a actual secret room the actual secret room and it is there okay now we have the option of looking for a second secret room I'll try a bomb here though um, and I, I'd say that worked out relatively well it took us to 15 cents which maybe will allow us to buy 9 volt if it's in the shop and then we don't have to worry about getting another battery charge or we could maybe just buy a battery charge um, I'm gonna do boss trap room I don't know if we just have to walk in, or if we can, like, actually have to do it in order to have it count. Okay, Tomo, you can leave as well. Goodbye, my Tomo friend. Uh, we got another bomb, so we could look for the secret room. I think we should just do the room. Let's just do the room. Honestly, with our setup right now, like, Cursed Eye is not good, but Explosivo allows us to maybe get more value out of Cursed Eye than we otherwise could. And for enemies that don't jump or do any form of bullshit teleporting, that's going to be valuable. Obviously, Monstro is not in that camp, unfortunately for us. Just stay on the ground for, like, two fucking seconds here. There we go. We'll get, like, two explosions out of this. Look at how quickly that took him down, man. And then we get Larry Juniors. They're not, if anything, they're going to transfer the Explosivo onto one another. Make my life much easier. There we go. One's dead, at least. Now all three are dead. And again, this is mostly just due diligence to ensure that we actually can go to the error room, because the error room can give us items for free, which would be really nice right now. And obviously, one item that I would really love to get for free is uh, literally anything that gives us a stat improvement in almost any category except for range or shot speed. Uh, inside of here, we actually get chaos. Fuck it, dude. With error rooms, this could be good. And we got some money. We got a hematomesis pill. We got an I found pills. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to blow these two up. Yes, hello. Oh, thank you. They are indeed blueberries. Uh, let's teleport. This is the second secret room. So the next one should be the error room because we've already been to the deal with the devil. You push my bomb out of the way, you jerk. I'm not going to be able to open this other stone chest. Or am I? Two of hearts. Ooh. Well, the, the extra hearts here are the valuable things. Might as well take the creep. 
Amnesia doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, two of Hearts. Sure, it's something. We don't want to be in this room anymore, though. We want to go uh, around to the right side, go back to the shop, buy the battery charge, teleport to the I Am Error room, and hopefully pick up, you know, whatever item we can get in there. It's shaping up nicely, but we got, like, we got a long way to go from, like, a, a damage perspective in order to turn this run into something more respectable. Like, this feels like a Gungeon run right now. Like, this early on, we are still quite slow. And Lazarus's rags is fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't do anything for us right here. And if everything goes right, it should never do anything for us. <laughs> that's the that's the problem with Lazarus rags. If your run's already going okay, um, it doesn't really help you stay ahead. You know, it's it's a card that can be decent if if you're really really in the early game and have no HP. But we're we're lucky enough to have no HP, but you know, have some black hearts to back it up that we can't really part with. So. It is a good thing, as strange as that may sound. What's not a good thing is that, uh, for you know, damage-wise, we've really only gotten Blood Clot, which is not that amazing for damage ups, and uh, Lump of Coal, which is good, but only situationally. You know, in some situations, it's providing us with no benefit. But I'm, I'm not going to shit on uh, on Lump of Coal. It's Quite a good item most of the time. And I guess we started with Explosivo. If we didn't start with Explosivo, you'd be seeing me a lot saltier right now, I think, because this run would be slow. Alright, we've been inside of this room. Let's open it and teleport out. Open this stuff, teleport out. Explosive Diarrhea. As long as we stay on the outskirts, doesn't really bother me. Are you a wizard? Sucks real bad. Just give me my two of hearts card. Ah! Okay. We will go to our curse room. Uh, we gotta hit the button first, though. Oh, I'm an idiot. Shouldn't have done that. But at least we only got hit once. We didn't get hit on the way in as a result, so it's only really like half a spirit heart cost, but still not very happy about it. Did get some spiders for potential use on this room while I have Curse of the Are You a Wizard? Wow. Okay. Good, good teleports, thanks to accidentally exploding a mushroom into myself that did damage to me, but we did find the secret room as a result of that as well. Um, although, to be honest with you, I was content to use a bomb there, and I was very confident that that would be our secret room, just based on the room layout, but sure, there you go. There's 10 cents, and we saved a bomb, so let's pay it forward. Didn't get anything out of that. That's okay. We're looking for, if possible, a battery charge from our shop. Uh, again, you know, if we get a deal with the devil, then that's awesome. Because it means that we're going to get to an air room and get another item for free, probably. As long as we have two battery charges to work with. Um, if we don't get a deal with the devil, it's okay. Because it means that we're guaranteed to deal with the devil as a result of the uh, the teleport. So, you know, either either way, we either get like a weird active item goat head. Or we get, um... Ooh, Mom's Knife is in there. I may have had Mom's Knife on our last run. But I would probably take it on this run. In just in general, my likelihood of taking Mom's Knife goes way up uh, the shittier the run is and the longer it's been that shitty. And we're, you know, Caves won 12 minutes. We got some, don't get me wrong, here's some great things going for us. Uh, however, none of those great things are in the damage department. So a 15 cent Mom's Knife uh, appeals to me very much. So prepare for that to probably happen. A little bit of HP. Useful if we do get a deal with the devil. Right now, we're not going to get a deal with the devil. We're going to get a second secret room. So, with our one bomb, we may want to look for a second secret room. Or we may want to try to get Mom's Knife. You know what? Let's roll the bones. This could be more fun. Please be a second secret room here. Fuck. Okay, well then let's go to our second secret room. Ah, shit. Alright, well, that was uh, objectively the wrong decision. Let's head down to the next floor and try not to worry about how we ruined our lives! Now, we're, we're still fine, but this is not great anymore. Get a couple of charges on this, that's okay. Um, we can't get into our boss trap room, but we might have an arcade on this floor, and an arcade uh, has the potential, if it has a blood bank, which it won't because now we only get uh, bedrooms for whatever reason. Uh, but... If we do find an arcade, we can really use that arcade to uh, finance whatever rooms we want to go to. Obviously, the error room is the be-all, end-all, because once you get that, you're teleporting out, but... Five room. We could do this floor all over again. 
The problem with this, and I, I, I may do it, I may not. The problem with it from our perspective right now is that unless we get a battery charge or some means to re replenish our battery charge on the error room, if we get an error room, we're not going to be able to come back here and do the entire floor over again to get another error room because you're just stuck in that room when it's when it's done, you know? I, I hope that that makes any sense at all. I really can't believe we're on the fourth floor. Chaos, no damage upgrades except fucking Lump of Coal, which is fine. Again, I'm not insulting Lump of Coal, but it's like if you got a great uh, NFL star, but he's on a shitty team. You're like, you know, I'm not insulting Calvin Johnson, but the Lions didn't really hold it down this year, you know? Now, I'm not firing shots at the Detroit Lions. I don't really know much about football. It just seemed like the right... Uh, it seemed like an apt comparison. You know, you can't really use it for the Canucks because you got both Sedins and Yannick Hansen had an okay year, but by and large, it was pretty much a lost season. Anyway, um, 15 cent item that we don't know, but there is a battery charge in there, so that's valuable. Uh, okay, just land some HP, thank you. All right, lovely, okay, we're too slow. I wish that we were faster than this. Or had more range, or had more damage, or etc, etc. So the world allows us to see that there is no arcade on this floor. I'm not pissed off about it, because the arcade is really just a means to an end. We could find other things that fulfill that means to an end. That, yep, 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 yep. We could, uh... Get ourselves... Just enough battery charges to teleport anyway. But we got a long road ahead of us on this floor if we're going to make that happen. First step is fight the boss, get the deal with the devil. That would help out a ton. Onsus. Yeah, sure. Beautiful. I mean, actually, we should take Onsus over uh, over our other, our other options here, which is just two of bullshit, two of hearts. Tends to be the least likely to be valuable two of X card until it isn't. Till it saves your run. But with 2 HP, not likely. Joker? 2 of diamonds. I'm just going to pop it right now because it's in kind of an awkward spot. Uh, I don't think we need to do that. Let's just take care of the stain. Give me a deal with the devil. I believe. You know, we, we definitely, so far, we've been having to scrounge for our, our success on this run. I believe that this is where it's going to get busted wide open. Now, I don't know that for a fact, and... Oh, fuck. <laughs> now I'm on the other side of the map. Honestly, hey, it's nice. We don't have to backtrack anymore. I don't think we've been to our secret room on this floor, but honestly, the run's taken so long, some of these floors are starting to blur together a little bit, as you might expect. You hear this sound? Stop, Tomo, what's that sound? Wants to get in and lay down. Oh, my God. There's something... The call's coming from inside the house. Yes, hello. And then I close the door and you wanna you wanna get out again. You can surely see the ridiculousness of this. Oh man, this is uh this is a little bit of a slog right now. Three HP. You know what's more valuable than three HP is knowing that by going in there, um we're cutting one teleportation off of our golden teleporter's needs. Definitely use a bomb here. Roid Rage. The speed is very valuable. The range is not, but the speed is. Uh, we should buy our 15 cent item. It could be anything. And there is a battery charge in our shop. Bob's Curse for 15 cents I don't think is bad. The other thing I should mention here that, that could be very valuable for us is... Um, if we get a deal with the devil, we can also trade one HP away, potentially. And in trading away that HP, we would be able to um, not have to teleport into the boss trap room. And as a result, be much more likely to get either our error room or our uh, deal with the devil if we don't get a deal with the devil here naturally. Well, I guess we would get a deal with the devil if in this hypothetical situation. So, yeah, uh, this is actually quite nice for us. Good black powder plays. Um, it's very nice for us if we can get a deal here, and we did, thankfully. We get the Mind. We got Scorpio. And I got Guppy's Head. It's actually, like, we never should have done that. And I mean that sincerely. You absolutely should not be, uh, spending all of your HP on blind items on a deal with the Devil. 
when they could be any item in the game, but we lucked out, man. Like, getting, um, getting Guppy's head there is really good because for the Guppy transformation. It just gives us better odds, even on top of the better odds we already have for having Chaos. Ansu's means nothing for us now at this point. Um, I figure we'll play until we get down to like 30 cents here. Give it a shot. There we go. Just want to get as many of these spirit hearts as we can to keep ourselves alive. You know what? Let's play until we get down to 20. 30 cents was motivated by laziness. Hey, Tomo, buddy. Tomo, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Tomo. It's not actually Tomo's birthday. He's born in, I think, like December. It's it's not December. As big as my backlog is, it's not December right now. Why are your ears back? You freaking out? You about to go snaky? Don't bite my headphone cord. Don't jump on top of the computer. I see you looking at it as if it's a monolith of your happiness, but it's not. It's a monolith of your destruction. Look at me in the eyes and tell me. You don't understand what I'm saying. Tomo. Okay, well, I mean, we're not getting boss rush on this run anyway, so you'll forgive me if I take some time to pet my cat. The once in future king. So we're going to take the pill. It's infested. We're going to teleport the heck out of here. This took us to an error room right off the bat. Now we'd like to teleport out of this room to get back to uh, the five room, which we cannot do. What's our item, though? Blue Baby's only friend. Eh, it could be worse. High Priestess or Two of Hearts? High Priestess. All right. Down to the next floor. I don't know, man. This run is very strange, even by my standards. Curse of the Lost, you know, basically nullifies our ability to use the mind effectively. Blue Baby's Only Friend does not synergize well with Cursed Eye, but is a good item in its own right. We can stand far away from the combat and get some stuff done here. Uh, but by and large, which is my big and rich cover band, uh, this is not going to be the most incredible setup that we could possibly muster at this point. At least we don't have Curse of the Blind. They're getting a decent amount of money by a couple items from our shop. Maybe one of them is a guppy item and we start to, you know, see the dream materialize there. But for right now, uh, this run leaves a decent amount to be desired, I'd say. Just trying to work these guys out systematically here. The less turrets we create, the better. Good enough. Oh yeah. This is this is non-negotiable. That is not helpful. So we will leave. Uh this floor, I have no idea, by the way. I, I really doubt that I will be able to finagle our Oh my god. I really doubt I'll be able to finagle our way to every single room. Honestly, if we go to the boss room, I'm going to be relatively pleased, I think. I'm just going to be like, we did a good job. Otherwise, my mental cartography is going to start to suffer here a little bit. We're getting a little low on HP. I'm really hoping that I don't end up eating my words on uh, Lazarus Rags, you know? Hope that I don't end up respawning there. And Well, you know, if, if we need Lazarus Rags to live then sweet but uh i hope that we don't i will be going to our curse room seems very unlikely that uh we'll have a secret room here but we should check curse room uh let's go to the curse room after we get a teleport that seems like a valid choice here we'll use two bombs to get two bombs and the battery charge so we'll actually wait on that battery charge for just a moment here um anything could be in that golden chest it could even be another battery charge we have our shop available, too. And without Curse of the Blind, we should actually probably go to our shop first. We're getting a little distracted by the myriad things that are disposable. Yeah, the soul for sure. And let's get Trinity Shield. We also got a Two of Hearts card, which we didn't have enough of already, apparently. Three Red Hearts. That's, that's sick, man. Thanks. No coins for that. That's okay. Soul in mind. These are good items. Mom's Key is also very good. We got the Mom Transformation. And we got a bomb. Should have teleported out. I waited that whole time for the teleport. Now it turns out, I mean, I guess I didn't want it. Okay, so our shop was really good. Trinity Shield is good, but I, I oftentimes forget to actually use it in the heat of the moment. Focus on our more reliable dodges, which is a point of personal shame sometimes, I suppose. But 
not too worried about it. Scorpio has made our tiers smaller. They appear to be a lot less powerful, but it's an optical illusion. They actually do more damage with the poison now, but... We can get that, so we should. Uh, I'm not even probably going to go to the item room on this floor. I just want to get out. It's a suboptimal strategy, but I have no idea where we are. So I hope you'll have some sympathy for me there, but... Luckily, we're doing okay. Probably drop High Priestess on this guy next time he comes back from, like, a real jump. Ooh, the soul just deflected that bullet. Lucky us. Uh, I totally forgot we have Black Powder and good speed now, so we really should be taking advantage of that as well. Little Gish. Kind of a shit floor, all things considered, but I did it to myself as well. By not fully doing my due diligence. Alright, Dank Depths 2. Uh, we will start working our way towards this item room, but we're gonna do everything on this floor again because we have no reason not to. It's only in our best interest to do so. Now, admittedly, I can use uh, Blue Baby's only friend to get some solid work done. I've won runs basically just on the back of having Blue Baby's only friend. I'm not bragging about it. It's it's an unfortunate situation when it happens. Man, I can't believe we got lucky with both of those like panic black powders there, but. Um, it's it's not the optimal situation, that's for sure, but we we could make it work. Come on here with this nonsense. Another key. What's our item? Uh, it's Book of Revelations, which is actually fine, but we're gonna be sticking with Golden Teleporter. Because Chaos gives us the chance to get an amazing item or a shitty item from any location. The more locations we can present better our life is going to be, I think. So let's actually do all of these rooms. And this is going to be the hellish part, all these big rooms down here. Um, you know what? We we got a lot of keys, but I feel like... Okay, now I feel like we don't give a shit about Flat Penny. <laughs> I immediately was like, we'll probably go Flat Penny. Flat Penny's really good. And then I... Picked up 27 keys in quick succession and was like, you know what, that's good enough. Was it the right decision to uh, pick up those pennies before picking up Flat Penny? No, we could be at 99 keys now, but the smart money is on probably none of that ever mattering because 27, or sorry, 54 keys is already going to be uh, enough, if not too many. Okay, Invisible Man needs Explosivo so I can track him. Good stuff. Where's next? I think we go for the shop next. We got Steam Sale and 14 cents. I would love to not fight greed. And I'm not going to be too picky about the items, but it would be sick to be able to buy two guppy items in there. It's happened before. It's weird that, like, this is a slow, slow, slow run, but I really don't feel like we're in a bad spot. Oh, I knew it. Uh,. I don't feel like we're in a bad spot. I feel like we're relatively comfortable, but that cannon has changed really quickly on the womb in some situations, so uh, we, we do need to be concerned about that. You know, 6 HP plus a res that'll leave us at 1 is not great. Ooh, don't walk on the spikes. That's, like, for sure avoidable. We got enough battery charges to feel like, at the very least, a deal with the devil on this floor is is probably in the cards for us if we don't earn one naturally. Uh, but we've got a good chance to earn one naturally because we didn't get one last floor. And uh, who knows, man? An error room could could contain the world for us. I'll show you things you've never seen, girl. The seven wonders of the world, world. And I could make you the eighth if you want to be my girl. When I say a girl, I don't mean my woman. That ain't my style. Need a real... What is what is uh, Bun B say in International Players Anthem? Need a real street stalker? To, to, is he talking about how he needs a prostitute? I'm not even saying there's anything wrong with that, you know? I'm just saying... I, I don't understand the diction that he uses. But in the in the parental discretion is advised version of this song, they, they mute it. So I don't think he's saying real street stalker. I don't know what he's saying. Street Stalker sounds like a great PS1 game about, like, inline rollerblading. 
Please, Dad, it's called inline shredding. Can you get the nomenclature right? I'm a stickler for pedanticness. All right, Bob Burnquist's son. Friends till the end. I'm not taking the tower card with me. I just, like, I can't be fucked. Bad gas. Bad gas. It's Mathis's rebranding. Bad gas games. It's not because he has, like, you know, ulcerative colitis or something. Not that there's anything wrong with that, you know? It's a... It's a... Autoimmune disorder. Wouldn't, wouldn't dare make fun of that. Just because his game, or his name sounds like Bad Gas Games. Let's use a bomb. Second secret room. Have we been to secret room? Yes, that was like the first room we went to, right? Or the second room we went to. Very important to go to all these secret rooms. Oh, shit. Just stick some explosivo shots, man. Get them all to blow up at the same time. Poker chip, I don't know about. Beautiful. Strength, the gauze, purge the curse. The gauze, next floor. Awaz, use immediately. Nothing. Burkano, use immediately. Burkano, use immediately. And then what's our other card? Strength? No, we'll use uh we'll use the gauze so we can purge a bad curse on the next floor. Alright. Give me a deal with the devil, dog. I I don't maybe it'll take us to boss rush instead? I don't think so though. I'm, I don't know, but I don't think so. I'd really like to not teleport out of this fight ten times. Oh yeah, that's the... Thank you, self, for accidentally drawing a circle there to remind you that black powder exists. If we can stack up, like, multiple circles here. Do multiple, you know, axes of damage. I, I'm still, oh my god, fucking Jesus Christ shit. Uh, I'm still in awe of how bad our damage is this late in the game. And it is this late on a chaos run, which is what bums me out the most. Like, we should be rolling in fucking brimstones right now. We ain't rolling in anything, except rolling around in a circle, trying to get black powder to deal all of our damage for us. I'm gonna use Blue Baby's only friend as well. You know what? Maybe I'll throw down some little Bob's Curse Bombs from time to time. Pretty valuable, you know, in getting the poison out there. Minimal risk of, of teleportation as long as I don't release the button here. You get to hear some wonderful keyboard noises as well. I'm amazed how much better this is going, actually. That should have been the end of it. Good, 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 good. Just keep, stay down here. There you go. You got it. We did get a deal with the devil. Take the Polaroid. Don't take Book of Shadows. Teleport out. Error room. What in the world is this? Oh, I took damage, but that's okay. I'll live with it. Question mark card. Doubles our active effect. I don't even, that seems like it would provide me with very little benefit. Friends till the end. I will take the extra card. This is fairly shitty. I'll just be real with you. Um, where did my Degas rune go? Did I used it? I must have used it. Do we want the devil or do we want question mark card? I can't imagine either of these bringing me benefit right now. So let's take our devil card. Oh, we're still shitty. How does this happen, man? I'm not going to every room on these floors. Like, these floors now are potentially hellish. So instead of going to every room on these floors, we're just going to beat them. And hope that we get, you know, some good shit. Because, uh, as of right now, it hasn't really been working out that tightly. Joker? Two of Diamonds. I mean, Two of Diamonds is great. If we can maybe find it in our heart to pick up some items, you know, like, uh, I don't know, maybe, uh, money equals power or something like that would go a long way. It, it is, it's a bummer, dude. When you meet the game more than halfway on a run like this, you say, hey, look, I'm gonna do the zany shit. And the game says, thanks for your zany shit, here's nothing. It really puts a damper on things. Secret room. Fanny pack. It's okay. As everything that we've said about this run so far. Oh, that's... Uh, it's not horrible. It's pretty bad, though. I mean, I should have been able to dodge that, but... 
Gotta get ourselves into wide open spaces, like the Dixie Chick said. Don't think we're gonna need 68 keys. Oh, fuck. Slow down. Take it easy. Bow down. Down up. Down up. Oh, come on. How many enemies is that Explosivo shop in pass between at this point? There needs to be like a classic rock radio station that only plays songs with um, Ride in the name. Slow Ride, Take It Easy. Uh, and then you got um, Come on and take a free ride. Free ride. And then um, Why don't you come with me, little girl, on a magic carpet rider? You don't know. Whoa. It's kind of an uncomfortable song. You don't know what we can find. Why don't you come with me, little girl, on a magic carpet ride? It sounds like a little menacing. It's like borderline blackmail, but I'm pretty sure they're just talking about drugs. Rib of Greed. Could have used that on the last floor. Oh, well. Um, well, we probably will not get a deal with the devil here. There's a chance, though. And if we have 69 keys, that's where we want to be. Um, if we do get a deal with the devil, we get to save this Joker card. Use it a little later on. If we don't, well, we use it right now and we take uh, the Devil card with us, I suppose. Let's throw down some, like, Bob's Curse action down here. Just whittle it down to a more manageable size. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, my God. Well, we got two HP. Let's do this, Joker. What? A Book of Shadows again? And then, like, Lost Protector. Hoi, everybody! Are you ready? Who lives on the pipe under the sea? Sad man stream pants. He's looking to probably lose his good streak. Sad man stream pants. He thought that the game would meet him halfway. It looked him in the eyes and it said, no fucking way. Sad man, stream pants. Sad man, stream pants. Sad man, stream pants. Do 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 you, do you do the curse room? I don't know. I think I'd rather not, honestly. Take your strength card. Maybe you get some value out of this at some point. Don't don't hit me, okay? And also, don't call me daughter. I beg you. The picture will remind me. Dude, the halo here is actually the closest thing that I've ever felt to, like, Nirvana. And I'm not talking. I know I just talked about Pearl Jam, but I'm not talking about, like, a 90s grunge band when I say that. This maybe has saved me. We have so few rooms left to do here. We might just want to try to push for the error room. As much as it pains me to do so, it seems sensible. And you know what? I'm gonna go, I've decided, full on Blue Baby's Only Friend. Blue Baby's Only Friend is our new play. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But I think that that's our best strat. This is the shit right here, yeah. Oh, baby. Golden key. Ooh, I just realized if we want to go to the secret room, we're going to need to go inside of this curse room. Just don't get hit. You'll be fine. Mr. Mega, it's okay. Don't step on the spikes by accident. Ooh, streak. I love you so, never ever ever gonna let you go, once I get my hands on you. And then Shaggy in the background goes, love me, love me, love me, sex machine. It's more of a meat wad, but it always is. You guys don't know that Shaggy song? If you, you know, he had some jams before It Wasn't Me and uh, Angel came out. He had Mr. Bombastic, which doesn't go, turn it up, I'm the lyrical gangster. 
No, it goes, um... I don't even remember how it goes, if I'm being honest. Yeah, a song about Carolina. Oh, Carolina. I don't know if it's about, uh... Ooh, I'll definitely take the Joker card with us. I don't know if it's about, you know, the hurricane surprising run to the 2005-2006 Stanley Cup. A run that eventually ended in success, or, or what it's about, to be honest with you, but... Probably was played a lot in advance of that. And, and during the period as well. Okay, this is... Save me from myself here. One thing's for sure, I really wish that I'd been able to pick up Mom's knife earlier. Caffeine pill. Could be worse. So I'm actually gonna fight these guys. My reasoning is... I want to be able to blow up these other statues. See if there's any other latent items hiding behind that maybe I desire, you know? Okay, one of these dudes is dead. Dude number two is real close. Give me an item. Give me an item. Oh, I forgot we weren't on the chest. So that's not going to be an item, but it's something. Nothing. Okay, Joker card. Down to the next floor. What is this, like 38 minutes, 40 minutes? No big deal, man. Just Isaac. Are we going to do the same thing on this floor? No! We're going to execute on the same plan we had on the last floor, which is bum rush the boss. And it's only if I find myself facing down true, um... What's adversity? That's if it's only if I find myself facing true adversity that we're gonna go through the bullshit that I went through here. I love booting up Isaac, having you know, forty minutes, knock out a run, no problem. Twenty-five minutes, knock out a run. Sometimes you get two hours. That's enough for three Isaac runs. That's not gonna be the case today. It doesn't really bother me from like an efficiency standpoint. I'd just be sitting at my computer anyway. And I think that sometimes you, you really get into the deep, dark depths of my psyche over the course of these, which mostly consists of apparently Mr. Hot Stepper. Turn it up. But, uh... If you just, uh... Give me some... Give me some loving here. Make me feel like the game's still in it for me. I just feel like the Halo's keeping me on life support while I... You know, it waits to truly fuck me later. Hematomesis, mm, it might be worth taking down on the next floor. We'll see. Balls of Steel is hugely valuable. Thank you. Joker. Okay, so we're going to stick with Joker for now. We probably will not have to use the Joker on this floor. We'd, we've earned a deal with the devil by most traditional metrics. Starring Keanu Reeves. Um, we're going to be at 99 cents. And you know what? We have... Um, we have Mr. Boom Bob's Curse. Mr. Boom Bob's Curse. Turn it. I can't stop. I wish that I knew how. Um, so we're going to be really leveraging our bombs here. We're lucky we can't qualify for Hush. Because honestly, I'm thinking about it right now. And I'm like, Hush seems sensible, man. Why does Hush seem sensible? Oh, Sinrobe is so good. Hush seems sensible because we get so many different potential chances to get items. Oh my god, I touched Tomo and he freaked out. He was asleep. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Okay, let's do this. We got this. Bet you got it going on. Ladies will get to know your sexuality when they get to know your personality. Blue baby's friend, you got it going on. Here, we got this. We got this. Two spirit hearts. A teleportation card of some repute. I just, like... Yeah, this is what I'm waiting for. Is like, for, for us to get fucked by Cursed Eye. Luckily, it hasn't happened yet. At least not in a while. It's fair to say I probably shouldn't have taken this item. But I figured, hey, might as well take the item now. Spice up the run a little bit. You never know, it might be real boring. Haha. -ha. Oh, yeah, Dad's Key is an all-time classic. No. But you can fight Mega Satan. You're looking pretty good. No! We're not doing this on this run, okay? Jeez, just cool your jets. No, we're not doing it on this run because... I have to basically beat Mega Satan with Blue Baby's only friend, which sounds like the worst thing in the world. And if we lost the streak because of my hubris there, I would be like... I'm the world's dumbest individual. So, 
Let's just play it cool for now. I mean, it's going okay. Like, this is the first time in forever this run actually seems half decent. So, I'm not going to fuck with it by... By trying to fight Mega Satan when we get... Honestly, we got no business, like, fighting Isaac. So, let's not start with this whole Mega Satan silliness. Black Powder is allowing us to do some good work. I have to say that Black Powder is really... Uh, if not saving the day, is at least, you know, writing a to-do list for the day that allows it to save itself. Here comes the black powder. To <laughs> okay, it works, you gotta admit. This guy slowed me down, and as a result, I can't finish black powder. Wait, we can actually, we can do that song. Let me think about it. Here comes the black powder. Circle up. Area of effect damage. Circle up. Excuse me, Mr. Boss Fight. Circle up. Still got you like that. Na 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 the soul might have absolutely saved us there. Got nine bombs. Should be throwing them in. Like, I didn't really talk about it, but it's, it's a huge get for us that we got this Emperor card. Because now, we're going to fight Blue Baby immediately after picking up uh, four more items that could be anything uh, on, the, on the chest. So we really should have a win here. And fuck anybody. And by fuck, I mean, like... Thank you for your support, but at the same time, like, I think you're being a little bit uh, overly aggressive here if you suggest that I fuck this run up by not fighting Mega Satan. Um, this run, you know, there's any myriad roads an Isaac run could take on its way to success or failure. We we took the road less traveled by to a large extent here, and it looks like we're going to come out ahead, and I'm very happy about that. Sad Bombs is huge. Homing Bombs is very nice. And then Anemia, whatever. Mom's lipstick. We already have the mom transformation, so it, it means very little to us right now. But the the sad bombs, homing bombs touch here is quite nice. We're gonna win this run. There were times when it did not look like we had much of a shot at all, so I'm I'm quite pleased actually. Just let Blue Baby's only friend finish the job as a way of saying thanks. Oh my God, we might have actually gotten teleported if we'd been hit there. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.